Hey, how's it going everybody? We haven't streamed in a hot minute, eh? <laughs> oh, let's just get this set up here. Uh, there might be a vacuum going on in the background uh, from time to time, but uh, should still be able to make it through. Uh, so I hope everybody's doing well. Lyle, welcome. Uh, there's a vacuum now. Uh, hopefully we'll get through it. It's not a big deal. I was just watching your recorded stream while drawing. And it, well, hey, how about that? That's just sweet timing. Okay, well, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, sorry I haven't been streaming. Uh, it's almost been about two weeks now. Um, let's go down the list. Yeah, so uh, last week, it doesn't really matter to you guys, but we were doing a little spring cleaning uh, while we got the time off. Uh, so I wasn't able to do any work. And then this week, I was working on some client stuff that has NDAs attached to it, so I can't stream doing that. Uh, even today, uh, I can't really work on that. So what I wanted to do is just uh, talk about something I posted yesterday and I did today as a little example and a test. Um and the other thing too, and I'll just point this out because, you know, normally I've got like a beard or something, right? So I, I went, I shaved it all, man. And the idea was, was for, uh, my son, Alexander, who's 11 months old. Um, I was hoping to like, do, you know, you always see those videos where like the dads with the beards or whatever, and they shave it and then look at the kids and the kids don't know who they are and they freak out. I just want to do a little bit of that. So I shaved it off. Not impressed with what I look like as it usually would go. And I look at him and, and he, he was unfaced. It was just normal. So I shaved my beard for no reason. So regrowing it back, <laughs> so stupid. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I know we're looking at a blank page. Let, let's uh, l let's go through what we're gonna be doing today. So, and I, I'll talk a little bit about why um, I wanna wanna pursue this a little bit more. Uh, for those of you that are uh, you know checking out a little bit after the fact. So I posted yesterday and in today. This one was today. This one right here, and uh, this one was yesterday. These pages took honestly about an hour maybe two at most, and we'll see how long they go today. I want to do uh, an additional test. And what, what it is, is uh, it, it's it's an art style test for sure, four pages uh, that I don't normally do. Normally I add like color and other things like that. Uh, I, I'm really interested in just pursuing black and white with a little bit of gray. Uh, this one here, the second page here, has a little bit more openness to it, where this one feels a little bit more, I'd say, magnolia a little Kirby in there too, right with the Kirby, Kirby crackles and stuff, but a lot more heavy blacks. I don't necessarily want to go there, but if you guys remember, I was drawing this way, and I made a post about this on Patreon yesterday as well, and, I, and I, a quick tweet in a social post about it. Uh, Jake, welcome. Uh, thank you. And J okay, thank you for the, the support there, uh, Jake. Uh, and yeah, so I was just posting around, just uh, getting it out here, and, and the reason why I, I wanted to jump back into doing this test here is if you guys remember, uh, and... <laughs> It's still the style crap that I can't uh, seem to break. But things are becoming a little bit more clear with uh, what I what my intentions are with style. Uh, and it's 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 good. I know this might all seem like just pick something and go. Uh, and I'm trying to air a lot of this out because a lot of artists go through this. I'm not the only one. Uh, and what I'm starting to find is there's certain styles for certain projects. I'm still locked in that mode of like what's my art look like um so that usually means i'm kind of going back and forth on what style to pick what we'll see going forward especially next week possibly tomorrow we should be streaming next week i'm hoping we're back on track to streaming every day um we're gonna be working back with uh whoops 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 uh, galaxies and peril uh which has this sort of look here um uh yeah i'll bring i'll open this one because this one was like a, one of the last patreon commissions i did this right here which i I, I am very fond of doing. It's like my old style mixed with some new stuff, especially with this dry brush and like this very simple rendering. I enjoy the hell out of this. The trick is this though. <laughs> and I talked about this two weeks ago with you guys uh, is having, I don't want to say limited time, but time is always uh, a crazy thing when it comes to producing stuff, right? Uh, I'm trying to get client work to get the income still rolling, but at the same time, uh, it, it, that is taking away from personal time for personal projects that it doesn't matter if I'm working a day job or from working uh, for somebody else, even working on comics. I still got too many ideas in my head and that doesn't mean they're good, but I got too many ideas in my head of comics and stories to do. The problem with working this way, uh, is it just takes longer, right? Arguably looks maybe better. I don't know. Uh, I, I, th there's something about this that I enjoy. Uh, and well, we could talk about that more as, as we do a page today. Uh, and I'll, I'll click through here just so you guys kind of see how this was put together. But I wanted to just address some of the things that were in there uh, for some of the creative decisions that I was I was making. Now, uh, this, like I said, took like about two hours to do a page. 
there's no scripting, there's no story. I'm just throwing stuff in here. What I was trying to do was test handwritten uh, fonts. I want to mess with this one software I found uh, that you can make your own font. Um, definitely want to try that out. Also, um, a lot of this looks the way it does because I've been still looking at uh, Jack Kirby and Corey Lewis. Those have been the two major cats that I've been looking at. Corey Lewis in particular, uh, I'm a patron of his, and a lot of what he posts about kind of like coincides with, and, and my beliefs too with this sort of stuff, where it's, I was watching one of the videos he made, and he was talking about like a hand, and the hand was pretty janky, but it still had like a cool look to it. And the idea of just getting it out there, uh, instead of worrying about making a perfect hand. Uh, in his head, he's got lots of stories or volumes he was talking about of books that he wants to make, and if you're just worrying about a hand, it's going to take you forever to do that. Now, I think there is a healthy medium between the two. Uh, arguably, I would say that's one of the uh, self-imposed handicaps that I have and maybe other artists have, where it's it has to feel like it's professional or that you know what you're drawing or doing to look a certain way, to feel a certain way, so that other people know you can draw. Does that make sense? Uh, there's a lot of like stick figure comics that do really well. There's a lot of artists that do a lot of things. What it comes down to is two things. One, storytelling for comics, right? And two, do you like the story that's being told from that artist? Some people, like, this is just dumb stuff right here. These things are just stupid little excerpts from, like, a part of a story that I have no idea about. But you might think it's cool, right? And if that's the case, then you might like this stuff. But there's other people that would look at this. Um, and I've had a few friends tell me this because I, I shared it with them, too. Where it's like, this isn't, you know, this looks amateurish. This looks uh, this and that, which is fine. I'm, I'm not looking for uh, <laughs> approval by uh, everybody or anybody. It's more just what feels right for the for the story kind of stuff. Um, and to get this stuff out so it's not just eating away at my brain and no progress is being done. So, all right, let's just uh, go through this here. Malachi, welcome. Oh, uh, yeah, were you in his stream yesterday? I think Will's still streaming right now. Uh, for those of you that uh, don't know Will Robson, I know most of you do because he's been on the show a whole bunch of times. Uh, he streams, it seems, every day now doing, it uh, looks like, sketch cards and commissions. Uh, definitely check him out. I, I believe he's streaming right now. Could be wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to back this all up here because uh, I think it'll be pretty fun to just sort of see how this is going to get built up. And we're going to do this too. Uh, so what I've been doing is there's a, there's a mix, and I'll let's go all the way back with all of these. Uh, turn those off. Okay. So this one here, uh, I started drawing it with like a, a more, how I would do my normal stuff, just scribbly gestures of what are we going to put in these panels, like some poses and, and some stuff like that. This one, same kind of thing. Whoops. And uh, this one was done more with a pencil, right? Uh, but I'm, what I'm doing is I'm just indicating, okay, I want to put like a speech bubble here because this was a, a test, right? I wanted to test certain things balloons uh and stuff like that so i knew the guy was gonna have like an energy ball looking up at a, at a guy flying a little smart ass smile that kind of thing and then i just gesture in where we're gonna put in our borders same thing here this is just traditional th thumbnail work we'll do that today with this next page um and then from here uh just tighten it up a little bit uh but the panel borders i've just been putting like a fat brush i think that's the one might be a little too thick uh and then just sort of tighten up the scribbles a little bit the thing that's awesome about working with this style that i enjoy so much is that it's simple shapes and simple lines not getting bound down necessarily necessarily to something like this that's a lot more i would argue this too when i look at this and i'm not trying to compare i'm just trying to uh for those that i some people have messaged me about this that's why i want to have these videos for those people but in here like there's the anatomy things have to when you draw a certain way things start lining up just like perspective in that if you draw like a really well-drawn anatomically correct person but the background sucks you see it right away so when you draw things like this, and again, I'm not saying this anatomy is perfect at all, and I, I don't like drawing perfect anatomy, but it's a lot of blown out shapes so that not everything has to look like it fits, but it's still leaning towards correct drawing, whereas uh, with this stuff, that's not where I want to go. I want this all to be expression, feeling, energy, motion, that kind of stuff, right? Storytelling. I just want those quick beats of story. Uh, so, so that's all I'm, I'm focusing on here. I'll, I'll uh, just stick with this one, then I'll jump to that, the, the other one, uh, so we're not bouncing around everywhere. Okay, so we went in there, and then uh, the next thing I did is from here, uh, just throw on some text. Uh, in this text layer, um, do I have it? Yeah. So I remember I looked at a Jack Kirby comic, 
and I did one of these things, I forget what they're called, but it's basically like, I think it's an Elms lettering guide. If you guys check right in here, there's uh, right here, it's like a big, thick blue space. That's where you would write. And then this is the space between the lettering and then the next line, space lettering. And all, or line and then lettering. And what that does is it just lets you space things for hand, letter, uh, hand lettering. Uh, and I don't normally do this. I, I just wanted to see how this all felt just from ground up, just writing it uh, on the screen. And anyway, there's some things I like and some things I don't like. What I do like about it is that it definitely feels, um, I'd say, indie. <laughs> uh, it's got a lot more of a hand touch to it, literally. Uh, and it doesn't look as polished. What I was noticing was when I, I was using my Joe Matarera font that I used for Jessup King, uh, Battle Chasers is where it was from. It looked like, it looked clean. And once the artwork started looking a little bit more messy, I, I felt like it was clashing a bit. So I was like, you know what, we're just going to try some, some hand lettering. So in here, got this rough line work here. Uh, let me just turn off this. And here you can see, let me just turn off uh, all the other layers. This is really the line art here. It's just, I've done this with a whole bunch of stuff. Just simple uh, line weights. It almost looks like a, a single line line width, right? There's very little, if any, pressure to it, but it's got like this tooth to it. Do you guys kind of see that paper tooth to it where it's got a little texture to it? Love it. The only other thing that I, I added after the fact here is uh, some line weights. So we go here, and then I just wanted to start tossing in some gray just to see. And the one thing I noticed right away with doing a lot of the gray work is that this can quickly become just a gray comic, and I don't want that. That's why with this one, uh, I tried to open it up a bit. So we had one there. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, yeah, I had to put the big, juicy sound effects because I really don't do a lot of sound effect work in comic books. And I think a lot of people in comics, uh, or a lot of artists, myself included, don't include sound effects in the panels. And, and I want to change that. It adds so much to it that I felt just doing even this one. Then we had the paper texture on top because it just makes everything look good. Uh, and then I added a little line weight. Line weight something I definitely want to uh, include with this style because I, have, I noticed things can get a little bit, a uh, little, little messy here. So we got that one. Then today, um, all I wanted to do was um, the exact same thing, but what I wanted to test was maybe a little bit more anime kind of face, a little, little more action, and just sort of do the same thing, but let's start looking at some faces and start looking at some, some simple backgrounds. How fast could we go? Let's get a little swearing in there, you know, throw in some over-the-top aerial font in there, you know, like just meme-looking font, right, like this, Power Snake, just it's over-the-top. Again, a lot of this is Corey Lewis. A, a lot of, I love the way he does. He I love the way he tells stories and makes comics. Uh, I was actually just flipping through uh, this right here, Sun Bakery that he did. Uh, there's a, a short story in here called Bat Rider. One of the scenes in here is a skateboard, uh, and it looks like the skateboard's alive or whatever. And he's being chased by a uh, car, and the skateboard goes, "Let's do that move." So Bat Rider flips over the car. This uh, the skateboard slides underneath the car. An arm comes out of it, pushes the car, and he lands back on there. But the way he paced that story was awesome. And the way he draws, obviously, is just pure action. It was great. Actually, it's one of those things, and that's why I'm, I, I want to keep going down the road, because for me, I felt something. I felt something energetic about it, almost like when I was reading um, uh, Sin City. And I apologize. Let me, let me know, guys, if uh, this audio is getting out of hand with the uh, vacuum going on. It sounds like it's probably... <laughs> I'll do my best to keep it going. Um... Let me just catch up here, guys. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Malachi is plagued by that. I, I'm, I'm assuming the style thing you're talking about. Oh, Will just finished the stream? Okay. Hope you guys... Oh, he told you to come here? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Will. I like that art. It's very crisp. Well, thank you. Thank you, Piercy. Uh, which one are you talking about, by the way? This comic book looking stuff or this one? The forearm guy. Is it comic or forearm guy? Looks fun, thank you. Lyle looks super awesome to me. Really cool seeing you experiment with styles and learn a lot. Okay, awesome. We're, then we're hitting the, the right things here. Again, so this one, uh, I wanted to see if I push a little bit more into the anime. Looking faces and stuff. Um, but Kirby is something I, I always enjoy putting in here. And I want to. I really want to funnel into that. And I would argue too, like this pose right here, this very Kirby and um, manga anime influence. I much prefer uh, the older I've gotten manga over traditional american comics i feel like that just tells better stories more more entertaining stories i should say um at least the ones that i'm reading okay so let's go so we got all the rough in here uh 
let me just turn off the text. Excuse me. So uh, right here, I, I just had the idea, you know, take the guy, have the guy take a sword out. You know, you got to get that close up of him unsheathing it. I wanted these guys to have guns just for something to do. And then just have like a reveal shot of this guy. I didn't know where I was going to put the sword or exactly what I was going to do. Uh, come on, boys, it's time to, you know, fucking go. And then just blank out the, the swear word there. This is that I really enjoy from Adam Warren. Uh, I've been rereading Empowered as well. Highly recommend you guys check that out. Awesome comic. So I had all that. So I like to get the text in there. Not necessarily this, like the the, the onomatopoeias. <laughs> uh, even the power snake I put in there later. And that's just a word. It's just a thing. It has nothing to do with anything. It's just, again, testing the impact and the feeling I get when I just look at a page without the context of a story, besides just like a little snapshot. I find this is a great way to figure out um, your own style, too. Uh, especially if you want to do comics. Okay, so let's keep it going. Lower the transparency. Uh, and... Did I really just go right into it? Yeah, okay, I guess. Okay, so I just went right into drawing over top of this stuff. I thought I would have at least roughed it out a little bit more. I guess not. Get a little bit more confident here. Uh, let me get those panel borders. Those are probably important. There we go. Uh, so yeah, like little things like this, like you know, like that hand sound. I, I normally wouldn't do stuff like that, but it, it just works. And then I wanted to put like a s sound it's kind of the sound of like the sword coming out, but it's also a snake sword, right? So it's got to make a, a hiss. Then again, these faces, right? Like I was looking at these faces and I'm like, what do I do, man? Like, I want to try these dumb, stupid little faces. And again, this anime kind of look like even this dude down here feels to me a little like Dragon Ball a bit, right? Uh, but it's not what I normally do. And I made a post about this today uh, or on Patreon. It should come out tomorrow. I was just sort of talking, like, when I first drew, and I've talked to you guys about it, it was video games and anime, manga, those kinds of shows, right? Like, uh, it was just something cool about it. And then as I matured, I would say, in art, uh, I started pulling away from that. And I do know a lot of the reasons for that were the people that were helping me draw and showing me things were saying, this is amateur stuff. And I'm not going to, you know, I, I, I won't argue it either way. Um, but it's amateur stuff, and if you want to be a professional, like, especially working at Marvel or any of those other places, like, th this isn't what you do. In hindsight, they're right, right? There's, this isn't the look for a traditional American comic. Uh, but since I'm not trying to pursue that stuff, I just want to get my stories out. I just want it to feel, I want you to feel something when you look at it. That, that's it. That, that's all that I, I want you to do. Okay, so we had there, uh, the anime faces were kind of feeling pretty good, right? Uh, let me just turn off these layers so they get a little bit more clean. There you go, and then we start adding in the black, and this is where you start grounding things i want the super simple disgusting backgrounds uh how much time do we got two hours about that so what i'm gonna try to do today too on this page is we're gonna do like a i'm gonna throw like a super primitive disgusting background because <laughs> i want to see how that looks i hope hope we can finish it and then fix up the face a little bit and then you know get this retarded looking sword down here and just go just put some effects you know just go let's go let's go and then from here uh i think yeah Go here, and then just super simple gray work. Not the fancy. I don't want shadowing. I don't want, you know, anything too too poppy, I'll say. And uh, that that's it wrapped up. And there's some things in here I learned today that were really great about simplicity, moving along, go, 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 get it done. That's all that matters. Not, you know, does pick a hand or a face, does that look great? Again, this... <laughs> That I normally do, this is not what I'm trying to do. This. I want quick speed. That kind of thing. Okay, so all right. So we got all that out of the way. Let's do another one, shall we? Um uh, MC is saying these pages look amazing. Thank you, dude. I uh, love the style. Per, uh, you know what? I actually I don't like to talk about likes and things like that too much. I know they don't matter, but they feel good and it's nice to know if one thing I would gauge off likes and stuff, sending it online, is if you're doubtful, if you should try something, throw it out there and see what the response is. If you get a positive response, it's probably wise to keep going. And this page in particular that I posted, it's probably because it was out of left field. A lot, I don't do things like this. This is probably the most number one thing I've had liked comic book page related uh, ever. Um, so that's why I know uh, we're going to keep going. My gut reaction at the start of the year of sticking with this style was probably correct. And then uh, once, you know, the world went to the way it went, I started going back to 
safe. This feels safe. I could get work doing this thing. This, I, you know, getting work, I don't, I don't know necessarily. So there's a lot of unknowns, right? So this is where you go for, I, this will get me X most likely guaranteed. This is like, it's so experimental. It's, you know, it's, it's a toss up. It's this kind of stuff, you know? Um, what's it loads, right? Like I've shown this dude before. <laughs> like I, I like him. He's cool. You know? But it's so different than what I normally do that it starts weighing on the conscious of like, is that where you should go? Like, here, I'll just go through a couple of things I just been farting around with, man. Like, look at this kind of stuff. This really stupid anatomy, just big bulbous shapes with some like, these muscles don't make sense, right? I don't know if I'm going to continue going down this road, but it's kind of cool. You know, it's got a feel to it. That's all I'm trying to do. What do we got here? Yeah, see, like I'm just messing around with some shapes, guys. Just trying to see. This one I, I tried too, uh, real quick, uh, for God Slayer, you know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there's something here. So, anyway. Okay. So now that we got all that out of the way, <laughs> let's actually uh, let's do something from the ground up. Uh, we'll go over here. Uh, let me just catch up with you guys. Thank you, Piercy, for uh, clearing that up, man. I appreciate that. Uh, hey, Lars. Welcome. I really dig this style. Did you move your studio? No, no. Uh, I just have a standing desk, so I lowered it. I'm sitting today. I'm being super lazy. I also uh, before we go into the page, I just want to throw one other thing out there. Um, so I I made a test a test poll that I sent out last year, towards the end of last year, and a lot of people didn't care for the style that I'm doing right now. Some people did. The, there's a Captain America that I did in this this look. It's this is really this style of stuff here, and I don't know if it's just the faces are too weird for people. So if I put in like an anime manga face, people know, oh, that's what he's trying to do. That's the direction. So it's like, I understand. Uh, if the other stuff I was doing was just feeling a little bit more, you know, it just didn't jive. I don't know. Uh, but it's interesting. It's just interesting. And, and, and the other thing too is uh, somebody else commented saying like the pinups, they weren't sure. But when you see it in a comic, it's like, got it. That works, which is interesting. It's just trying to, it's, it's telling myself that, uh, when I ask people for feedback, I need to really start setting people up with the, the full information to get the right result, right? Um, if pinups are one thing, but comics, if that's what I'm trying to do, then let's 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 uh, start making some some better examples for people to give you the appropriate feedback, which makes total sense too. Um... I think the speed of you making a page like this kind of benefits you. It's much more dynamic and natural. Yeah, I do totally. Sometimes I feel like you overthink stuff like I'm doing right now. This is just you. <laughs> yeah, man. Are you still playing? I am planning on doing God Slayer. A lot of the client stuff has gotten in the way of that. Um, and that's not to blame any of the clients that I'm working with on anything. Uh, I, I've said it before, and I'm not trying to say it for sympathy or anything, but uh, due to everything that's going on, I was laid off, so I need to make sure there's income coming in. Uh, so I, I need, that's gotta be a focus. This is more of the, it's never left me passion. Let's just get that story going. Right. But finding this has been like a secret weapon, man. It's like unlocked all this potential that like, just have fun, man. Just go. Okay. Let's actually draw. So like I said, I wanted to have a little city scene. So I was thinking, <clears throat> And this is how I've been doing these, just so you guys can see. You usually get that establishing shot. A lot of these are tests. Again, there's no story here. Uh, maybe we'll just do like a big, I don't know, something here. I don't know the shape yet. I'll put a hero over here, maybe overlooking a city. Maybe he's standing. Uh, let's put him on a building. I'm just going to scribble in some buildings here. And we're going to clean this up in a second. I would also say, too, if you guys are a fan of this kind of look at all, I highly recommend uh, Corey Lewis. Go check him out. Uh, I hope if you have if you haven't seen his stuff before, just when you go check him out right now, he does something to you that makes you go, wow. <laughs> That's it. Um, and then if he inspires you to go forward and make things on your own, like then, then he's doing for you what he's done for me. And arguably, I could be riffing on his stuff a little too hard. 
Um, and I want to be careful. I don't want to, I don't, I'm not a fan, even like with the chibi stuff. A lot of people will say, uh, you know, like I'm ripping off Derek Lofman and things like that. I'm not, that's not the intent. The intent is the inspiration from what people are doing to continue going on. And I'm not trying to like benefit off other people's uh, work and labor. Uh, but at the same time, I think there's very few people that are truly unique and original with uh, art. Um, hell, even most of us, we learn how to draw by looking at like Loomis or Bridgman or pick somebody, right? So there's some give and take. Okay, so maybe we'll have him kind of looking over. I don't know. I have no idea what this guy's going to look like yet. Uh, looking over the city. Uh, let's get like, let's get a little car chase coming in here. I don't really draw cars. So let's draw a little simple stupid car. We got the road. Maybe we can go like a... Like it's skidding across. <clears throat> yeah, put like, I don't know, like the road here. Maybe we got some stuff over here. And we'll put like a, a cop car or something. Kind of following it. So he's looking over. I already got the vibes of, okay, this is like a, a vigilante superhero looking down at the city. Got some criminals in there. Be looking down, so get that nice close up. And maybe we'll do like a building shot. He's jumping off or something. Just trying to think, maybe we can get like a foot, like here. You know, get that sound or whatever. I don't know. Maybe we'll change that panel up. And we get like that cool. Cool shot. Jumping off a building. And we're going to freehand all these buildings because the, the tests I'm trying to do today. Uh, and again, I'm hoping to get this through quick. It's just to see what freehanded buildings look like. I'm sure they'll look atrocious. Uh, speaking of Captain America, the real reason why I rejoined you oh, is because I wanted the inks of a cap piece you did a while back. Uh, sure, man. Just uh, message me on Patreon. I'll send you uh, whatever you want. I don't know if I actually posted that on, on Patreon. I know the, I know the cap, uh, this one, right? Um, oh, that was a commission. That's why. That's Okay, this is probably why. Um, sorry, I know we're in here somewhere. Where are you? Nope, it's in art. Patreon. Was it Alex that wanted it? Yeah, this one, right? This is what you want? Here, file, export. One second, I gotta let a cat in. Here, Mama. Come on. Just in case that one's not, uh, yep. Whew, that was loud. Cool, yeah. Just shoot me a message, man, and I'll uh, send this over to you. If the, I'm hoping this is the one you're talking about. Hey, well, welcome. <laughs> I was just uh, wrapping up watching yours, dude. The streets of Rage is looking real hot, brother. I'm a simple, stupid car. Damn, I'm sorry. I'll try to be a little more luxurious for you. That was your first time tuning in and you're doing it so <laughs> You're setting the bar way too high for me, man. But thanks for uh, coming in here. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, everybody. Um, the styles uh, fit you perfectly. Thank you, man. Enhances your already unique style. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. That's one? Okay, right on. I'm right on board. Okay, so let's go. Let's keep this going. Uh, so, next thing we do. Boom, we're going down here. Uh, I got a brush. It's called Thick Line Art. So we're just going to... Make it a little bit beefier. Uh, sure. Looks cool. Looks cool. Looks cool. Boom. Done. All right. And the other thing we're going to do is let's have some campy dialogue, right? 
Maybe he's got some caption. Caption. We're moving the eye. Boom. Come back down here. Caption. Make that red so I can see it. And we got the eye coming here. Skid. So we got the eye coming this way. Should we put a caption there? That might make it too busy. All right, we'll leave that open. So you're going to go over here, over here. Maybe he'll say scum. Because that's a cool thing to say. Scum, tip tap. Caption. Cool. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to do some writing. You guys ready? Exciting time. Hey, Trey, welcome, man. All right, so let me just open this up and I'll show you cats what we're doing. I like to use Grammarly because I can't spell and my grammar sucks. Uh, here, I'll show you. Check it out. This is a show for you guys. Giddy up. Okay. So this was uh, the writing. <laughs> the writing I did for the, the first comic there. I use Grammarly. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Uh, it's better than just opening up like a Google Doc and typing in some stuff. That'll do your um, spelling errors, but this will do your grammar as well. You can pay. I haven't done that yet. I, I'm always tempted to do so because it's almost like an editor, kind of. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll usually have this on the second screen, but let's do this uh, with you guys real time. All right, we're going super, super simple here. So, all right, let's just come up with something. I don't even know what this character is. I'm just thinking like a vigilante instead of a Superman. So more of a Batman. Uh, we'll make him look cool, hopefully. So we got three things he's going to say. Okay, let's have him talk smack about the city. Let's just go uh, Sin City-ish like we were talking before. Uh, this city is uh, Wasteland. Again. Not worrying at all about, is this necessarily cool? Just moving along. This is a wasteland. I can smell it. Do you guys know what the next one's going to be? I can taste it. Just keep it nice and poppy like Sin City. And then, of course, he's going to say scum. That actually fits in. Do you put periods? Oh, no. Hold on. I'm having a brain fart here. Do we put periods in? Uh... Yeah, of course we put periods in speech bubbles. What am I talking about? Scum. Okay, and then he jumps, and then uh, we get another caption here. What would he say after all this? I want him to feel excited. He's talking smack about the city. Yeah, there you go. Got it. I love this place. Boom. Okay, there you go. Done. Writing. 101. There you go, guys. I don't know about plugging my Instagram, but I finally made an art account. Yeah, guys, okay, go follow Lars. Uh, the, am I going to say it right? The Bearded Danish Artist. Uh, actually, dude, your portraits have been really slick lately. I'm a fan. I am a fan. All right, so I'm going to move this off screen. Uh, I'm going to show you how to put the, I think it's Elmer's Guide. I always never say it right. Basically, my lettering guide, we're going to letter it. Uh, and I'm just going to put this on the side so I can see it, and then just write it. Okay, cool. Uh... Boom, 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 boom. Let's go here. I will go here. We get a new layer. And text. Okay, I'm going to go here. Where are you? Jack Kirby. Copy and paste. Turn that layer on. Okay, so I've been using my lifeless brushes for those that uh, downloaded these. So the first line is, this city is a wasteland. All right. Beef it up a little bit. No. Actually, just let me duplicate this, guys. Because I always have this all over my second monitor. Uh, especially for things that, you know, it, when you get a second monitor, you can shrink the size, right? Or like a second um, display might be a better way of saying it. Just so you can see how things look when they're, they're shrunk. Alright, this is a little too big, so one... Just gonna erase a little bit of that A. Cool. This city is a wasteland. 
Did I do that? I did. Fuck. Alright, let's uh <laughs> let's right on the right layer this time. Yeah, no problem, man. Move this stuff around. Apparently everything has three dots at the end of it when I read it. And then what was it? I love this place. That's what it was. somewhere all right the next thing we do uh, is we need our speech ballon so we go over here uh, I think I just freehand it cuz we're trying to keep everything scribbly I don't even know if this is the right one that I keep messing with leave lots of room Now the actual uh, balloon tails, I sort of just wait until, uh, okay, you got to move Zelda, uh, until I get the drawing in there, that way I can see where the mouth is. And the other cool thing too that I'm really digging with this stuff is uh, just being able to do stuff I wouldn't normally consider doing, you know, like, like this kind of weird, like hearts and stuff, you know, like things just kind of feel campy. Uh, and then I'm just going to here, we're going to save it. Uh, just kind of go in here sometimes and just do this, just to clean up this freehand stuff just a little bit. Go. <clears throat> This is the fun part of comics right here. Get all this mundane stuff out of the way. There you go. Cool. Okay. Save it up. Okay. So that's how I do the, the lettering. Uh, also, or the writing, I should say, too. Um, that's how I did Jessup King for the, uh, for the most part. Except with Jessup, what I would do is I'd spend a little bit more time with the dialogue. This has no context. It's just a scene, right? So I'm not really worrying too much about uh, how how this is kind of looking. Okay, so let's go there. I'm going to turn the text. I'm just going to actually just lower it a bit. Let's turn it red just so I can really see it. Um, I'm going to make a new layer here. All right, let's, just sort, of, let's sort of just clean this up a little bit. Uh, one of the, the tricky things with this style 
is really just doing final artwork over like super loose stuff. It's guttural almost. Um, and because of that, there's a lot of things that could be desirable. <laughs> like how something could turn out. Okay, so we got this guy doing something. I have no idea how this guy's going to look. Uh, what time is it? Two? Okay, yeah, we don't got time for that. Okay, so faces I've kind of been messing around with trying to figure out either A, how anime we're going with this, or manga. So you might see a few different heads before we uh, pick one. I'm just noticing whenever I add this little thing, they instantly start getting younger. Sort of just scribble some stuff until we find something we like. Another thing we could try here too is, you know, maybe we just get rid of all that. We just make a, like a face mask. It's always the cheesy way to do things, but sometimes it looks cooler. Maybe we can put like a, I don't know. I don't want to do Spider-Man kind of thing, but, uh. Is it ear coming out here, maybe? We can kind of get some more design kind of looking stuff. A little more Kirby-esque kind of feel. All right, we're going to go here. Let, let's just uh, try this out. So go here. And this is where it gets kind of fun, to be honest with you. Now we just start feeling out the, the form. And this is where it gets really wacky. All right, because, boom. Actually... I feel like this guy needs to be a little bit more hunched forward. Vigilantes, right? They don't stand up right. I don't I don't want like a superhero. I just want somebody sometimes it's cool to just mess around with these things and have them like kinda of living in a world and telling a story in that. So look it over there. We could put like a like a a, uh, a gate or something over here. Kind of like the first face we did a little bit better. That one's okay. I think this one's not bad. It's not bad. This one's got a little bit more tooth. A little... It's got a little something to it. But I feel like this guy needs more style. It's not, not cool enough here. So if we just bring this leg way up here. Bend it down or something like that. I don't know what the hell this guy's doing anymore. Yeah, it's not good either. Maybe we 
can bring up a leg here. Kind of looks like he's uh, <laughs> like something's fallen. Actually, you know what? All right. Maybe when he's saying this place is a wasteland, right? Like maybe it's like a desolated city. That works. See? Coming up with ideas already. Just to make the drawing work. <laughs> Not to fix the drawing. Just to make the make sure the do whatever you need to do to make sure the drawing or the the drawing conforms to the story. Or the story conforms to the drawing, sorry. Alright, let me just uh, merge these together. Because we're gonna go with these ones. Up here, boom, boom, boom. We'll put a costume on him. I don't know what we're going to do just yet. Maybe. You know what I mean? Because he's kind of... I don't know what the hell he's doing. It looks like he's like free-falling or something. Let's put like a... Maybe he's got... I'm trying to access that part of my brain that's putting things together that just seem ridiculous to put together. Okay. I think we're here. All right, so he's not on a building; he's in a window. So, so we can do is he's gonna jump out a window. That's a, that sounds cooler. Yeah, jump out a window. Cool. We're gonna jump out a window. Sounds good. This guy's insane. So go here. And we're kind of figuring out our perspective already. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think he really fits the perspective, but it's okay. Still not enough coolness though. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna fix that up. Uh, all right, let's just get some weird buildings out in the background. This right here, I'll tell you guys right now, is going to be a massive thing for me to try to wrap my head around. It's freehanding buildings, but they don't have to necessarily. Follow correct perspective. Once you learn perspective, it's so hard to, at least for me, to trick your brain into not using it anymore. Like, I'll find that I only draw certain things a certain way because that's how it's supposed to look. If that makes sense. Okay, so we're going to put a costume on. Actually, let's do that now because that might Im impact some of these panels going forward. Uh... What would be cool for this guy? Just give me a second here. I don't want to go superhero, but I want to go... Uh, Figure something out here. Put like a little, little belt on him. Go put little trinkets and things. Put a little knife with a cool handle with some spikes on it because you gotta have spikes. Uh, put little spikes on his shirt. Why not? Give him some bandages. Uh, can I ask, yeah, no problem, uh, Lars, can I ask about your opinion, Jared? Sure, man. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about my art lately, and I've come to the conclusion for now that I don't want to do comics, or should I say sequential art? Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Let's make this guy topless, too. Why not? Let's get sexy. Let's let us get a couple dog tags maybe like some more trinkety things and we gotta have some sort of like anime here right go like that I don't know what his hands gonna be doing over here probably just resting over there give him some 
some wrapped up jeans. Maybe put like some bandages here. Let's give him a smoke too, because why not? He's badass, right? And what we can do with that smoke is get some composition with it. All right, cool. Character design done. Okay, so we got some city stuff down there, and we're gonna try like doing this fading kind of thing. The details just get lost down there. Uh, we got a car. We'll figure that out when we draw it. Don't want to do that right now. And we get a close up of the face. Scum. Actually, I should make him smile when he says scum. Uh, this too, guys. Uh, um, this is uh, an early way. I still do it too. Even Castle Dracula, Godslayer, whatever. They were all. They all started this way, and I think a lot of artists do this. At least the ones that I've talked to, most would say that uh, it's like your characters and your stories start with like a sketch of a character you made. You know. Get his chest in here. So this is a, a really quick way to kind of, I mean, it's quick for me, you guys might not be, uh, but just doing super s quick scribbles uh, to kind of make a scene, you know, make like make like, make an image or a quick comic page, if, if that's what you're trying to do is a comic, right? And you can get the the feel of your story real quick. the hell am I drawing here? Let's get the foot here. I'll respond to you in a second here, Lars. Sorry to leave you hanging. Maybe we'll put the other foot or something over here. What's that look like over there? No, this is fine. We don't need two feet. Well, maybe we can put one up here. Something like that. We'll figure the rest out. Cool. Okay, we're done. Now we're just going to draw it. Just like that. Uh, but I really want to do covers. Is that stupid or impossible? Can you get a foot in and only do covers? Um, I mean, I don't think Will's still in the chat. If he is, uh, he can chime in. From what I remember, covers, either you're a very established artist, so you're selling based on your name. Uh, so, like, think of Joe Madureira, uh, Art Adams, those guys, like, for uh, Western comics, right? Like, they do a lot of covers. Joe Mad, not so much anymore, but, like, Arthur Adams and stuff, they just do like pretty much primarily covers. It's like pinup work, right? I think, I don't know. You either know if you're that kind of artist or not. Uh, so, I would argue you got two paths to go that route. One is just become like an insanely good artist, and you're still gonna have to do some heavy grinding to get people to even look at your stuff, but you'll start rising to the top the more you do and the better it is than everybody else. And or there's something unique about it. Basically, if you can show that you can get a lot of eyes on it, on your work, then that's what will get you cover work. Um, or, and the other option would be to do comic books, I guess. And, uh, again, it, no matter what field you go to, it's can you get eyes on it? Right? Can you get asses to the seats? Comics is entertainment. Art is generally, like, if you're, in, if you're watching me, you're doing art probably for entertainment. And it's all about getting attention. So you got to be able to do that as best you can. And the better you can do it and the more of that you can do, then you're good. I don't Like I said, if, like you're saying, if you don't want to do comics, don't do comics. But if you want to do pinups and you want to do covers to comics, then you got to start knocking out some solid artwork and getting a lot of attention. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's at least my side for me. Hey, Cedric, how's it going, man? Yeah, dude. Yo, that 3D is looking, hmm, that Malice is looking very nice. Thank you, too, by the way, man, for doing that. Uh, plug your Instagram, too. Uh, people can go check out your stuff. Okay, where am I? All right, so I got this brush called New Style. New Style. It's got a lot of tooth, a lot of tooth to it. All right, let's knock it in. So 
So when I'm drawn this way too, and, uh, with this look, I'm trying to go qu pretty quick. I'm trying to maintain uh, energy, right? So the quicker you go, the more energy you're gonna you're gonna keep from your earlier. Uh, earlier art hello I've got a lot of grind to do but I kind of came to the same conclusion that uh, you just did oh did you <laughs> hey yeah no problem man it's looking real it's looking good dude let's get that anime hair in there everything's got like a cloud strife haircut apparently and all the I'll erase some of this once we get into uh, the background. <clears throat> Come on. I, I would say two layers, and I mean, this goes for anybody else, but like, uh, the comics take a lot of work and time. But also, and this is sort of like where I'm going with this, is it depends on your style, right? Like, that's why I'm I'm trying this right now while I can. Is drawing in like uh, like I was showing you guys earlier, kind of where I would say the the art that gets me hired that direction. It just takes a lot more time. So I don't want to say it's not as enjoyable, but uh, you know. I, I want, I want to tell stories, so it's it makes it difficult when each thing's got to look a certain way, like it's got to look great to me, right? Um, and then you end up, or at least I end up fighting more with the clock <laughs> as opposed to, all right, let's keep hammering out pages. Just got to find what it is that's going to get you whatever it is you want to do. Um, I should say too, sometimes what, what I'll end up doing with this stuff is, uh, actually, hold on, maybe I can do this now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see if this works. I think it should. Sometimes I wait before I add the shadows. Um, but this might be a little bit more appropriate to do it now. So even like this, this is like a leather, I imagine it to be leather. We're just going to go super simple with this, man. Screw that. I'll cut out some white spots. I'll draw in some black spots. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, and I and. <laughs> I'm very aware drawing this way like triggers a lot of cats. Maybe it doesn't trigger people. Maybe it's just more like that's not how it would look. So it can look sloppy. That's fine too. It's a valid argument. Maybe we'll give this guy like, do we just do the mustache? I don't even know what the, this guy's starting to look more and more creepy. I'll go T on him. I don't know. It looks kind of funny to me. You get the Gohan vibe here. <laughs> That's the thing. Everybody starts looking like Dragon, <laughs> like Dragon Ball. Okay, what was he doing with this hand again? Right.
Actually, I don't know if I even really care for those eyeballs. Let's see if we can. I'm gonna leave them for that for now. We'll we'll, uh, we'll address it when we get to it. Do this one again. You're killing me, Zelda. You want to stay in or you want to stay out? We're doing productions right now. Here you go. The beard makes him look like an anime Chuck Nor <laughs> Maybe we should get rid of it, eh? Um, well, I was just saying that's why I started a new Instagram. The old one was full of personal things, and I felt like the clashes with my art. Yeah, no, you're, you're, it's, a, it's a good point. I know a few people that do that. Um, it's probably a good recommendation, too. Keep the, if you're just trying to do business stuff, and I've been trying to do this a lot more lately, is just any kind of, I don't want to say political, but any kind of statement outside of art, just don't do it at all. And just your presence online is just art and what it is that you're trying to, you know, do work of or get work for, or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I think what you're doing is a, makes sense. And I know it's not that much, but I'm kind of overwhelmed with all the support I got since I started the new account. 80 followers in three days. Is pretty, no, that's awesome, man. Great job. I've been doing like these really obnoxious anatomy things like that. Which I think is pretty cool. Again, if uh, Kirby taught me anything just by looking at his stuff, it's... And this isn't a slight against the man, but... Uh, I mean, it's, e it's either something you like or you don't like, but... Uh, throw away... Correctness. If drawing it incorrectly it tells a better story. Now he's never actually said that. That <laughs> that's what I get from looking at his stuff. Put little tags or something there. Okay. So it's getting a little busy in there. Let's just keep going. So it almost looks like a little bit of a utility belt. Jesus, Jessup. <laughs> Can you guys hear him? It's a cat snoring. Ridiculous.
think I like him without the, the mustache here. Beat up his pants a little bit here. Hey Ben, how's it going? Uh, what Cedric's saying too, I agree. Uh, he's saying anatomy is important, but it can cause static storytelling. I, I agree. Uh, hey John, what's up, dude? Hey Ben, uh, I like those pages. Thanks, dude. Uh, it's kind of what we're working on right now. Just a super quick one. Uh, how long are we streaming for? Uh, my work day's done in. What is that? Uh, 50, 6, 79. About an hour and a half. So I'm trying to get this done in, within the hour. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's get this uh, background in here. So we're going to freehand the whole background just to kind of see how it looks. In my dream world here, uh, I'm going to freehand everything. For better or for worse. I think if we put uh, everything in black over here, this is going to look real nice. I'll just close up these shapes here. I don't want to lose some of his cool silhouette, though. Free handsome silly buildings. The real test, right? Oops. I'm noticing too the more I draw in this style, the like more I'd say Magnola. I kind of get like more heavy blacks. <clears throat> Just lets me uh, play with shape a little bit more, I guess. 
since everything's pretty simple, just another area that we can kind of fiddle in. Again, uh, the whole point of this, right, is like we're, we're flipping pages fast. We're not spending lots of time on these things. And what I mean by that is like whoever the reader is, right, like they're spending 10 seconds at best on here. And I'm not trying to wow them with like some really slick drawing of a city. I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to impress anybody with this. It's just, oh, okay, this guy's in a built in a window overlooking a city or something, right? That's all that matters. So long as the reader, you guys, whoever is looking at it and they get that, then that's all we need to do. <laughs> yeah, shapes and heavy blacks, man. Let's get his uh, that smoke in here. I don't know. I think uh, the background's fine. Maybe we can do a little uh, is that my forearm? Uh, just do some silhouette buildings. So I'm gonna move this one over here. Cause it's just in his uh it's in his it's in his face. Whoops. Yeah, so something like that. Now I realize too, um, I should say, I'm trying to figure out a happy medium, right? Like this is, I would say the, I don't say the pinnacle, but this is the, the guiding post. A lot worked with this. Um, this we're starting to experiment a little bit more with 
anime manga get some over the topness. So there's still some uh, some stuff to play around with here. All right, let's get this car chase. This car look badass. One of the neat things of, uh, I would argue, when you start again, what I sort of said in the beginning is the looser your shapes. I would argue the more freedom you get when it comes to comes to things like uh, like this car, for example. Like I can, I am. Here, let's turn the tires big time. Like I'm using some shapes that don't really make a whole lot of sense, but hopefully it's still believable. Hey, David, no problem, man. Hey, welcome too, brother. You guys know what's missing, right? Ten points to whoever in the chat says what's missing in this panel. Ten points to David. Guy comes in, just gets it. Lars is close with speed lines. I don't want to go too crazy with the speed lines, but uh, we're gonna get some nice juicy. Uh, what do I sound like a? Okay, anyway, <laughs> get some speed lines here, or not some speed lines. Sorry, some some sound effects. Okay, so we got this and. What's a sound effect like a screeching? Somebody just slamming on the brakes. Let's just add lines in here, eh? Just to. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm hoping, like, uh, what, what's happening here? It's already happening to me. If it happens to you guys, great. Then we're playing along. But if it doesn't happen to you, uh, that's fine. 
but what I'm feeling is like, so this first panel, I'm kind of like, you know, I, I don't know, like you know, the city's, you know, I'm, I'm learning some stuff here. Actually, let's uh, do something real quick. I'm like, you know, okay, there's some, there's some things. It's kind of cool, you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. I'm not sure about the guy's face, you know, Adam, he's a little, you know, kind of looks like he's got some hooves going back here. Might want to change that, let's actually change it right now. I'm like, I'm just not, I'm not sure. There's some doubt I have here. I think I'm making those legs worse, we're going to come back to that. If I forget, please somebody remind me. Um... I'm just like, ah, maybe, maybe whatever. But the moment, and this is the beauty of comics, or just maybe not comics, but just storytelling in general, is it's such a moving thing that uh, comics isn't a panel, right? So even though I might not be in love with how this is currently turning out, the moment I got into that second panel, I'm like, now we're getting into some, yeah, something's happening. Now I'm like, I don't even care. This is great. Because <laughs> I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like, you know, like, eh, you know whatever. The, the Texas cheese, that's fine. We just hammered that in. The guy's kind of whatever. But, like, it's comics, like I said, 10 seconds at best. Somebody's on this page, right? And they're just, it's guy. You look at him real quick. Maybe there's some weirdness to him. But then you look, okay, it's a city. And then, boom, we're in the next thing. Panel, 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 panel. That's, that's all we're worrying about. A big spoiler. <laughs> Definitely need that, yeah. Uh, Jake, I love the energy and tone that top panel has, and nothing is even really moving it. Oh, thank you, dude. And see, this is what I'm talking about, and I appreciate that, Jake. I'm not even really liking it. There's Maybe I'm just stuck on that face. It's just. <sighs> Let me show you guys something here. We got about a half hour for me to jam the rest of this out. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I'm going to put myself to the test here. So, again, I'll just show you guys where this is coming from, right? This one, this page. Uh, Something the last two or three days has just been clicking with this, and I'm, I'm super grateful, and thank you guys for your feedback and support. Something told me deep down inside at the start of this year to go this way, and I devi the reason why I deviated was uh, uh, dumb COVID coming around and uh, me losing my job from that and going, okay, well, I need to move into what I think will make me money so that I can feed myself and my family, right? Make sure we got all the good stuff. Uh, so I went to the safe stuff, right, which is, um, I'll bring up Jess up here, this, this stuff, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think this is more marketable, more, especially with either my audience and or just, I, I, I feel like I can get American style comic book kind of work, which is a little bit more money into, I would say, than this kind of thing. This is for me to put out there, then I got to do the, the heavy lifting, make people interested in this stuff, then maybe there's money, right? Uh, but this stuff. Let me just go back and show you guys uh, while I take a little break here. And, and please, jam the chat. I love, love listening to you guys talk all the time about this stuff. Um, it's motivating to hear that I'm not just stuck in my head with this kind of stuff. This all started with this project here. Uh, nope, not that one. Uh, by the good old James Thompson. It's a project called Rusty King. And this is when I first started looking at uh, Kirby and Loomis. Sorry, Kirby and Corey Lewis. I don't want to say just Lewis because you guys might not know who that is. Objectively, and like the stories are telling with shape language and simplicity because when my son was born speed is of the essence um especially when i did have the job and then you come home and you don't have a lot of time and you still want to spend time with the family right uh the fiance and stuff like that and enjoy other things besides drawing too you don't get a lot of time to sit down when you're younger you just knock out some solid looking art anyway so this guy came along and i asked him if i could try something and he said yes and this was the the project honestly that kick-started this kind of thing and let me just um share it with you guys before i'm just going to flip through some things all right just some character designs you can hopefully you guys see a lot of similarities between what i'm doing now and this this uh, i was learning a lot there's still a lot of uh, shape language and stuff that i would do that i don't necessarily think i would do right now where where i'm currently at with it but this is exciting i was knocking this stuff out probably quickly as you could tell um, but it had like a feeling to it, and it was very, uh, it was it was awesome. Um, let's go back here, and we'll do the cover. This one was uh, challenging too, just because of everything that's going on in it. Let me see if I can find a, it's a double page spread cover and back cover, but we'll just look at this. 
All right, this is very similar to what we're doing now. And there's something about it I liked. And the scary part was, it's not what I, I it's not what I can do. I guess it's not my hyper polished stuff, but it feels fun. You know, like I'll look at um, Spawn. I'll look at uh, I don't know. Let's pick some other stuff. Batman, Captain America, like all the the big stuff. I don't see fun in that stuff anymore, personally, and I, I'm not attacking anybody. But in this kind of thing, um, I don't know if it's just because I'm I'm doing it, you know, uh, or not. Uh, where are we at here? No, here. Okay, we'll do these up pinups, and we'll, then we'll go back. But um, yeah, it was just it's it's been interesting. But this was the first project that I was able to work with this guy and go like. There's something here, man. Like, we're having some fun with this. I don't think it's horrible. I think it's different. This one, too, I think was one of the better pieces. And this is what I'm talking about with this wacky anatomy up here. But it still works together. Like, look at all the muscles in the leg. That doesn't even make sense. But there's something about it. These guys are cool. Get that motion in there, right? A little adjustments. Anyway, okay. So we've come a long way from this stuff. Uh, and I think one of the, the big ones that got a lot of attention, I mean, attention, I make that, that makes it sound bigger than it is or whatever, was with the Venom one. I think it's like my number one thing on Instagram, which is pretty cool. Um, because this was the original, this was the very first thing. Where was it? It was Spider Man. Um, of course, I can't find it. No, no, there he is. This was the very first one I was like, I'm going to try something. It was this, and it's so different than what I was doing. And I'm like, this is cool. <laughs> There's something really fun here. And then from there, we went on to uh, uh, Captain America, which was a lot of fun. And to be fair, a lot of these are color, so I think that throws a lot of people off. Um, because the color, like, you know, I, I've been practicing coloring, so I'm able to do some cool things. But I get to see this stuff in black and white, and, and I prefer it in black and white little Leonardo, right? Like, a lot of things don't make a lot of sense here, that chunky, weird anatomy. But there's a... I don't know. I can't describe it outside of I feel something when I draw it. Whether or not it's marketable in things, maybe that's that's that artist thing, right? Where you're always trying to do the thing you feel like you should be doing, but you, there's no money in it. <laughs> Although I guess you kind of have to earn it and make it yourself. What was the one I was trying to show you guys? All right, I, I can't remember. There was something. No, oh, this is Batman one too. Just simple. But the coloring I know is doing a lot of heavy lifting with this kind of stuff too. Like I do know that. Uh, this is what the background or just the inks would look like. Right there. It's simple. It's not what I would normally draw. You guys know I love big chunky anatomy. Big beefy dudes, but like when I look at this, like I guess this is the the thing that I wasn't really considering until I started doing these last couple pages, and even today is I've been approaching the the discussion of style wrong. And what I what I mean by that is where I was starting was with these pinups, and unless the pinup is good on its own. The style doesn't really necessarily matter, but this this is comics, right? And pinups, like a style of pinup. If you were to pick, pick like just this guy right down here, that's my drawing, guys. What do you think? It's not correct. It's this. Why does it look that way? Because you know, like you know, look how simple this hand is. He's pulling out a sword. Cool, right? Look at these dumb faces, but in the page it matters and that's that's the interestingly enough the the realization i'm coming with right now because i see this and i'm like yeah i get it this is leonardo same thing but what are the panels that come after this you know these work because they're nice and fancy and colorful hmm, interesting okay sorry guys 
Alars, I believe it's missing an old lady with a trolley walking really slow. Uh, David, maybe shattered glass is missing from the top frame. Oh, like you broke out. Okay, yeah, that could be it. Like the concepts, color works. Thanks, man. Lyle, thank you, man. Those are the arts I like the most. Loose and fun. Okay. Let's finish this page. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a sound effect. We're going to screech. Screech. What do we like? A... Do you guys ever make sound effects when you gotta write your sound effect? You are. What would it be? I'm trying to think of like other people that do like a screech sound. I don't think it's screech. SK skirt. Sorry, I'm just sounding this out, guys. Maybe scourge. See what I'm saying? Like, this is what, like, sound effects add. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. I'm copying what I did right here. <laughs> and here's kind of its own thing. I'm kind of doing something similar here. So, scourge. And then we're going to try to play with that text okay uh, so we can also play with the two skirt maybe we'll start with like uh, some I'm just gonna do it in red here so I can see all right let's start getting some skirt let's start getting some blocky text Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> you just do weird sounds. <laughs> Are you planning on doing more live streams in the near future? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, right now, uh, like I said, the, the main reason why I haven't been able to uh, stream lately is uh, stuff I'm doing is under NDA, so I can't really show it, which sucks. But tomorrow, I think we're good. I gotta be careful with this because I don't want to lose the artwork either. This is gonna be something I get to learn too, which is really fun. Oops. So you can even make the sound effects do like a. It's. exploding. Uh, See, so the only thing I'm losing here is the cool artwork. So what we'll do is we're gonna try doing this. Yeah, we'll crunch it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> At least I like it. Okay, we'll mask it, and then we'll just go go here, and... Oh, no. One sec. What was that? Yeah, see you later, buddy. Thanks for popping in, man. Okay, so let's, uh, maybe what we, we'll do over here is put like a building or something. Building probably makes sense, yeah.
building over here. Just to make it look like there's, you know, a background. Again, the idea is to insinuate that we've got, uh, there's more going on here than I'm actually going to draw. And uh, for those coming in a little bit late, that's really this is really the test. Um, the other ones were more like uh, just how does this feel kind of thing. Um, this is now this here is now more like okay. Well, I'm not. I don't want to draw big cities, but I don't want to not draw them because they don't work. If I come up with a story idea or something where it's like okay, we got a dinosaur running through the city, you shoot lasers, blowing everything up. It doesn't really sound that cool, but <laughs> I don't want to not be able to do that because I can't draw cities. And arguably, this city here, I, I phone this one in, and I'll always phone them in. Um, but I want to see if there's quick little ways we can kind of insinuate a city. So that's all this background is in here. And the freehand is, so far, I'm digging it. I think it's working. Okay, now we get closer with this guy. See, it's scum. eyes just yet. We'll, we'll come back to those. There, how's his face? Uh, Darren, I dig all your artwork, but I gotta admit I prefer it when everybody's a bit tighter, like how you did your Jessup comic. Hey, no, no, hey, I appreciate that feedback too, man. Um, and I like having a discussion about that stuff with people. What was it, what is it about the tighter stuff that you like? Is it just that, that you just like, uh, artwork that looks tighter I guess is it just like it, it makes it uh, is it the stories you like or is it just the artwork is it the combination Uh, Lyle, some of the superhero comics feel like static movie screenshots, but this manga leaning style looks right to me. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Uh, in my head, the stories that I that I, I'm hopefully going to be sharing with you guys soon. Um, they're all pretty action heavy. I feel like this kind of art, good or bad, <laughs> um, lets me tell those stories a little bit better. Hmm, why is that? Oh, because there's no artwork there. Uh, Darren, a cool story is always going to be cool, but I will look back at cool art way more than I would ever read a story. Okay, no, that, that makes a lot of sense. I would argue too then, Darren, um, and I'm not trying to destroy or discredit your points, but uh, are you an artist? Uh, 
because I think it's also important uh, for those that are looking to do comics is to uh, ask non-artists what they think of your stuff. Like people that actually read comics. Not not that artists don't, but I mean... Um, maybe you have a brother or sister that's not really an artist at all. But they read comics, right? Ask them... I think everybody will always say the art's important. But, uh, just ask them, especially if you're looking for a style question. Like, would they rather just look at really beautiful looking comics, or would they like to have a, a graphic novel that's complete? Actually, that might be kind of cool here. I'm just trying something out here. I'm not too much a fan of this. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Again, this is this is mostly just test stuff for me. I'm just trying to figure stuff out. Cool. Okay. Like I again. I, I hope I'm not coming across as like just dick mode here. Like I appreciate what you're saying. I just know when uh, for me personally, when I was checking out this style, or even back when we were kind of messing around with the Kirby stuff, depending who I asked, obviously, and I think this is it, it's like this no matter where you go for anything. When you ask people's opinions on stuff. But. Uh, different folks are going to give you different uh, feedback. So when you're looking for specific things. Like when I was posting on Instagram. And all that. Like there's a, a good chunk of people that follow me on there. That aren't even artists. You know. Like I like to check out people's profiles when they follow you. It could just be troll accounts too right. I don't know. Oops. I'm also a big fan of Corey Lewis. I do enjoy the looser style, but if it was a choice, I'd go with Jessup's stuff. Okay. Cool, man. Thank you for your feedback, good sir. forgetting that these I gotta get some better brushes too I need like a what's it called like a, a blocky brush I don't know if I have one uh, Lyle, this art style looks super cool to me. That's why I started following your art. If it's uh, it because of those pieces you showed previously, like the Leonardo one. Oh, do you? Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Lyle, can I ask you a question? 
You don't have to answer it. How old are you? How old are you? Are you an artist? I had to get you study it, so. What is it about them that you like? Always curious as to what it is people dig about, especially something I'm doing, you know? So I have to change something here that I just know. Well, maybe I don't have to change it too much. This guy is jumping from a high building, right? So we're going to need a... Uh... few windows up here anyway. Now I would think too when I do this on my own. Some of these are going to have a little bit more love put into them here. Just because I know when I, I draw live, there's some concessions I make. Mostly for time. It's not looking like he's, maybe he's like diving out. Yeah, it's better. There's a little bit more action in this. <laughs> Uh, Troy, oh, when John was doing Jessup King, I would admit that his style was much tighter, and after his break from graphic novel stuff, uh, experimenting with his overall making mode. Yeah, yeah, I've been jumping all over the place, man. <laughs> Better and worse. I think, uh, again, doing client stuff, my more Jessup and, and or traditional style stuff, probably is more appropriate. Or more safe might be a, a good way of running it. I'm just finding being able to mix the two, uh, like with my own personal stuff, it's just not, it's not working. It's just going too slow. Which might be a good or bad, I mean like, at the end of the day, right? If nobody's reading my stuff, why am I making it? <laughs> like I argue if you're doing comics, yeah, it's cool to make stuff for yourself. Uh, especially your own thing, but if it's such a storytelling medium, right? Like, people like stories, so if nobody's reading your stories, what's, you, maybe switch it up. Find something else to do. Or adjust it in some way. 
All right, let's save it. We can take a look at it now. It's in context here, right? We got the cheesy text there. City's a wasteland. I can smell it. I can taste it. And then some cop car chasing some car doing something. Scum. Tip tip. Jumps off. All right, so it tells a story anyway, right? All right, so the next step we do here is there's like this uh, gray. Here. It's like a little off-white color. I just like using that for uh, just so that it's not a totally white page. And the white also pops a little bit better off of it. It's just little. And it lets me put that paper texture on there too. Okay, so we got that. And now I'm just sort of I don't like doing a whole bunch of different gray. So we'll try here. We'll go super dark here. Do we do dark in the foreground? Let's see. Uh, or do we do the background? We'll just try something. I'm just throwing this in real quick so I can see what it looks like. Kind of like putting him darker. I feel like it just helps his character a little bit. Again, it just might help tell a story, right? That's all we're trying to do. Just trying to tell a story. I think we can do a little something, something fancy here. Put that. We'll erase this. And then we're going to soft erase. I don't like, whoops, I don't like doing gradients with this. And this is another thing, too, I gotta mess around with is like the style of a gray. Because right? there's the half tones. But I, I really don't wanna do color. Again, just to move this along. Uh, there's no way in hell I'll be able to pronounce your name. Thank you, though. What advice would you have for panel layouts? Mm. <laughs> uh, the quick advice I would have is um, <clears throat> sorry one second what is this there we go uh, the quick advice would be find what uh, usually there's a panel that's the most important panel on the page I would recommend finding that one and working around that one, like what gets you moving around that one, what gets you uh, moving to that one, uh, if that makes sense. So if it's a fight scene, maybe somebody has a, uh, maybe it's somebody's arm being broken, that's the thing. If it's two people having coffee, maybe somebody's delivering some, you know, some shitty news to somebody. Maybe it's just like a monotonous, boring panel. And if that's the case, then maybe it's like a, just laying it out so that the page moves. And I don't know, like it, it's hard to describe, man, because it it with comics, it could be anything in the in the script or the whatever the hell you're doing matters so much be able to properly answer that because like one of the things that i'm just thinking about at the top is like let's say it's two people and they're negotiating one person has somebody held hostage and the other person you know something else it's like life and death kind of thing 
Uh, and it's the one with the heroes sitting down to dinner with the main villain as they finally met. And the, hell's, the, the hero's telling him, you know, like, you give my friend back, I'm going to, you know, blah, blah, blah. They're going back and forth. But it could just be them talking, and then they leave, and nobody, there's no action, right? And in those kinds of cases, it's, it's, it's tough, because really what you might want to do is just move the camera around enough so that the readers feel interested, right? Like, building tension. It's not just showing faces, it's showing, like, maybe somebody tapping their foot on the table, or underneath the table, you know, just like they're getting impatient, um, those kinds of things, uh, sadly, it's like for me, I don't, I don't have, uh, like a check, a checklist of, okay, if this, then that, kind of stuff, everything is always dependent on what's happening in the scene. But I'm sure there's people in the chat that have, like, uh, maybe some better thoughts on that. You're 23 and graduated from university not long ago. I started to pick up drawing comics in the style that makes me want to make art. So I think that's right. right on. Okay. I, I had an assumption. I don't want to say it, that you were younger. I feel like this kind of art is more attractive to the younger, I'll say younger generation, but just people that are generally younger. Uh, just that like Marvel and DC kind of stuff. I don't think that really attracts younger people as much. Maybe it's just the style of st storytelling or what, or maybe it's just like the the entertainment you look at. I like how much uh, like how much Marvel and DC stuff have you read, or do you read, or do you care? <laughs> I guess that matters too. Uh... Lao well, saying, uh, by the way, your make your comic today exercise real talk video. Help. Oh, good man. I'm happy. That was a lot of fun. I like doing those real talk things. I like I was saying a little earlier too, guys. This is something I'm going to try to be careful with. Is It can be very easy to get lost in just adding gray. Like The whole point I'm trying to use gray is just to help separate some of these things because a lot of things have just like the same line width there's no real differentiator between them and it's like manga right you just add a little bit of gray and black and you can tell a lot and it gives you like just a little extra power to move around but what I don't want to do is make everything like okay here's this shade of gray that shade of gray it's almost like using a, a few tones of gray and then to help move your eye and then see how that goes because the moment I start really rendering and adding in proper levels of gray and stuff it just starts to turn into I may as well just color it Uh, ben, hey, John, a quick Clip Studio question for you. How do you autofill with lasso? Oh, it's right here, man. Um, I hope this is the same layout. So here you get your fill, your paint bucket tool, then underneath it's gradient. And then I've got this contour line paint. No idea what the hell that is. And then it's lock, It's in here. It's under your direct draw, frame, ruler, that thing. Under direct draw, it's called lasso fill. You just select that. And Bob's your uncle. Uh, I want to give 100% towards drawing and making art, but I'm afraid of hand wrist injuries. Have you ever had any problems with this? What's your advice? Uh, you, dude, my wrist hurts all the time. And uh, all in here is starting to get snapped up too. Yeah, my shoulder. And I notice like it's been years of this, but like there's the hunch forward and the shoulders roll forward because you're always like this. So like opening up like that feels good, but everything up here always feels tight. So, I mean, if you exercise... That's that's one thing I guess that's supposed to help. <laughs> um, but I would say I'm not quite sure with your question, but if you're afraid of starting an art because of what it could do to your wrist and your hand, uh, that might I, I don't know it's it's a weird 
way to look at wanting to draw? It's, a, it's an odd question. Uh, but if your question's more in line with like just general arm and wrist health while you draw, uh, breaks, standing desk, a lot of stretching, those will all help you out. Uh, and one thing too, I'll, if I could uh, stress to you guys is don't crush your pen. I like when I was growing up, I would squeeze the living hell out of this thing and that gets you all kinds of pain in your arms. So the, the lighter you can go, if you're working digital, you should be okay. Because you get pressure sensitivity that you can uh, mess around with. But yeah, don't crush when you draw. You might be okay today, but eventually that stuff catches up with you. So we're about to wrap this up, guys. So I'm just going to start saying thanks for watching now. Um, and you can go back. We started this page right off the hop, uh, script and all. <laughs> it's, it's sad as it is. Uh, what, what gray are we going to use here? Do we need a gray in this last panel? I think what we'll do is we'll just because I really want you to see this guy. I don't want you looking away. I want you looking right at this guy. Maybe we'll darken that up a bit. something like that uh, maybe we'll do the building too maybe yeah that helps okay so the last thing I'll do here uh, is what I did on this one. I've been doing this with all my pieces for like the last year or two. Because I've got like these uh, two textures that I drop on everything. I, it's basically just a way to add texture. I'll just paste it on there. Boom. So what it does is just it makes it look a little bit more manga. Well, not manga, but just like it's on paper. Okay. So uh, I'm going to answer you guys' questions and we'll wrap this up. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about... Okay, so what did we learn <laughs> while we did this today? So... The test was cities and backgrounds, freehanded, how much time that added. And to be fair, they're super simple. There's nothing, they're, they're arguably disgusting. Uh, but I think it was a success in terms of speed, still being able to tell a story with super simple shapes. Um, and it just sort of, it, didn't, it imposes on me that, like, this is okay. I can still use cities. Like, one of the things I was thinking of, like, with God Slayer is I don't like drawing cities at all. So that's why I'm like, if I tell a story that, you know, is vampires and monsters and stuff that's not in New York City. It's in pff, make a land fantasy world, right? I can draw castles and weird things that don't need to make sense. Um, when I was working with my more traditional style, because the way the artwork is in that... You, you need your, your lines to line up. When things don't, it looks out of whack. But with this, the motion and the movement and just seeing it in context, these free-handed buildings, they're so sketchy and stuff that I think they work with it. I don't think it's... Uh, and I mean, either you like this or you don't too, right? But uh, yeah, I, I dig that. Um, there's definitely some things that I'm going to have to adjust just to get the... Uh, I don't know, certain context, I guess, across, like, um, some of these buildings and the shapes and the backgrounds, there's just a lot of, a lot of reference that I'm still going to need to do, um, and two other things with the character, I will say, is the faces I'm going to have to practice on, because I'm still not sure what direction I want to go, if I want to go full anime manga, or if I want to go a little bit more traditional, like how I normally draw, and, you know, sort of simplify uh, the artwork that way, kind of like the, the Silver Surfer, um, like this kind of stuff here, let me show you, and the only reason I'm showing, and it's not, not showing off, it's just, I know people come in at different times, so I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page with where I'm at right now, and I'm going to share it with you guys as we go, but like, this, I kind of like where it's going with the shape, uh, this would be where I would probably feel comfortable going, even this whole look is, is very in line with what I'm doing right now, uh, arguably what I'm doing is a little bit more loose, um, uh, but then this was something that I was doing today. 
um, where this looks a lot more anime face, right? So I'm st this feels a lot more uncomfortable. <laughs> I would argue feels a little bit more... Uh, what's a good way of saying it? Or even this too, right? The anime looking stuff. Uh, I don't want to say amateur because that's not the right way. I just don't draw anime well. So it's going to look... I know it's going to look a certain way until I get better at it, right? Uh, that and then some of the, the, the character shapes. I'm still going to be playing around with that. Because like his leg looks a little flat. Again, I didn't fix it even though we were talking about it. These look like hooves. But again, <laughs> this is more for me. I share it with you guys, but this isn't anything. This is throw away, just have some fun and learn some stuff. Um, but yeah, doing be, being able to throw in a super quick car chase scene that arguably looks really atrocious. Freehand and knocking all this out in like a super amount of time. Uh, I would say it was a big win today for, for this page and, um, sorry, this one. Doing a lot of things I was trying, and uh, anyway, okay, so I'm, I'm done there. Uh, let me just catch up with you guys, I'm going to take off. <laughs> Allow saying I don't read superhero comics, but I like the art a lot. I read a lot of manga, my favorite manga artist is Naoki Urasawa. I still need to brush up on a lot of these cats. I feel like if this is the, the route I'm going down, I need to really start taking it a little bit more seriously than I have. Uh, ben, oh yeah, I see it. Thanks, man. I figured it would be a last option. Okay, glad you found it. Five or ten push-ups every hour would probably be helpful. I should probably start that. Thank you. Doing your best to draw with your whole arm, too. That would definitely help. Uh, ben, I feel like adding a dab of some Studio Triggers art style to your work would be stellar. It seems like it would fit well. Namely, Gurren Lagan. Okay, let me just copy this. And paste. Oh, what is this? My Hero... Academia, is that it? That kind of, okay, I'm going to look at this because there's a lot of some stuff. See, I'm going to be, this is the the other exciting part is if I keep going down this path, there's a whole new world of art that I get to check out uh, for inspiration and reference. So thanks guys for uh, sh shooting that my way too. But anyway, okay, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I got some stuff I got to do and uh, tomorrow we'll be streaming and then next week we should be streaming too. Should be back, back to normal uh, until something else pops up. Uh, and if you guys are interested on Patreon, I post a lot of, uh, this kind of stuff going forward, uh, as well as God, God Slayer. Um, if you guys look in the description, there's uh, or even on the screen here, there's a bit.ly slash jar mail. You can go there. I got my mailing list. You can subscribe to that. Uh, I send it out monthly or bi-monthly of all the stuff that I've been working on, as well as I'll let you guys know when God Slayer launches. Um, and I'm still debating whether or not I'm actually going to do a crowdfunding for that or just be, maybe do a zine, uh, that is printed that you can order and uh, flip through and buy and all that cool stuff. But anyway, thank you guys. Take care. Uh, keep reading comics. Keep making comics. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.